a wonderful and interesting episode of Campus Snake Africa. I'm still J A W Z Y B, and where are we chilling today? We are in the state they refer to as the Sunshine State. Sunshine State where? Sunshine State in one of the southwestern states here of Nigeria. And where am I talking about? I'm talking about Ondo State. And I'm talking about the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Ondo State, Nigeria, West Africa. A university that has to do with technology, a university that is concerned on innovation. How? Where? What? I don't know. But you come along on this wonderful journey of Campus Snake Africa. I'm CJAWZYB. Let's go on this wonderful journey. Don't you touch that dial. the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology Akure. Akuta was established by a, a military decree in 1981 and it opened its doors to students in 1982. And the first set of graduates graduated in 1987 because all the programs of Futa are five-year first degree programs. We started with five-year first degree program and somewhere along the line, we have matured into graduating postgraduate students. So as we speak now, every department in FOTA graduates students for first degree, second degree, and third degree. So uh, we have got a number of um, honorary degree awardees, honoris causa as well. So we've been graduating students now for like 27 years. Why did you choose Futa? Futa because it's a very nice school. Because mm. I know what it takes to be in technology school. Wow. It's a very nice and very good school. Best Federal University of Technology in Nigeria. Best what? Federal University of Technology in Nigeria. It's a science school and they have enough reputation that it's a very good school. Yeah, I want to be independent. I want to be self-employed. I want to be a player of labor. Wow. And where can I get that training? is Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria, West Africa. Hi, everyone. My name is Professor Adebi Dramola, the Vice Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology in Akure, Nigeria. You are welcome to Campus Nick Africa. Enjoy the program. FUTA was established along with three other universities of technology to fast track Nigeria's uh, industrial development and to become the platforms for a technological revolution for the nation. It had to, Nigeria had been a developing country, and we needed to do a catch up with the rest of the world, technologically. So, Futa was one of those universities established with the mandate to leapfrog Nigeria into the group of technologically advanced nations. In a number of ways, FUTA has been able to contribute significantly to the technological development of Nigeria. So many equipments have been fabricated to address the local challenges that we have in Nigeria. I mean, some of the problems that are indigenous to Nigeria and indigenous to Africa, like the cassava peeling machine, like uh, um, the seaweed avesta, and, and so many other um, technological advancements like that have emanated from different departments from FUTA. Mm. Like, for instance, we've developed a number of um, feed, livestock feed, using alternative ration, unlike, I mean, unconventional feed rations. So we've done so many that I cannot count on my fingertips as I speak. But we've also been contributing significantly to scholarship, and academic development in Nigeria. In a number of ways, we've had a lot of our scholar and academics going abroad to engage in research in virtually every country, every country of the world. Europe, America, North America, Latin America, and South Africa, China, Asia 
Australia. So they've been going to these various countries and collaborating with scholars from over there. And they publish in high impact journals. They have patents. They get involved in a lot of research which are pushing the frontier of knowledge. And they also, we also have some of our products that have gone on to very top schools in the world and they approved their metro. So in such a way, you can trace back all this to the existence of FUTA, FUTA products and outputs, research outputs and products which are alumni of FUTA who are doing great stuff outside of Nigeria, outside of Africa. So to that extent, I would say that FUTA has, to a large extent, fulfilled this mandate. Yeah, our students are very unique, or I can say our product generally. We, and that is uh, what we train them towards, is towards to be self-sufficient, self-reliant. And um, the motto of the university itself is technology for uh, self-reliance. Uh, so we train them so that they can be, uh, they can apply themselves wherever they find themselves. They can play a role, they can play a part. Uh, we are training them with the focus that we don't want them to be looking for a job, and uh, rather they should be employer of labor uh, to be able to, to be creative, innovative. Uh, this is our target. And uh, we are very fortunate from what we have been having, uh, graduate uh, um, uh, employment uh, data that we are getting from all the employers. Uh, we, our rating is very high. The student look for uh, the employer look for our students you know, to employ them into their services. Uh, for Nigeria, we are the best university of technology. But that doesn't mean anything to us as a university here in Futa. We are aiming for Africa. We are aiming for the whole world because that is our vision to be the best university of technology in the whole world. Um, Federal University of Technology Akure has been for over 30 years now, precisely. It started in 1982, so 32 years ago. Um, it started uh, as a very small university with a handful number of students. But now we have uh, students that are over 30. The student population is over 20,000 now. So you see that uh, <laughs> the university is, is really growing. And talking about uh, structures, buildings, um, we've moved from a site that uh, is referred to as the Obakikiri Day now, uh, where we have uh, basically uh, a downstairs, but here we have uh, buildings that structures that are so imposing, structures we find the architectural design and serene environments, that's what we have uh, in Futa. The students. Wow, they are wonderful. They are peace-loving, wonderful, and they know their own news. That's why university, the university is the most peaceful university in Nigeria. Now, it, it may interest you to know that FUTA is the best university of technology in Nigeria. The, the School of Art Greek is the best, the environmental technology, the engineering. We have it there. And uh, we have programs that we run with other universities and other countries, not even within Nigeria. FUTA, as an institution made up of students to the rest of the world, has set up people being built to be leaders of tomorrow in science, technology, and governance. And uh, like I said, this institution we have represented the whole of West African sub-region in IT competition in the United States of America. You see the Lawrence areas of uh, soft, uh, ICT competition. Our, most of our departments in FUTA are rated best in Nigeria. Architecture, urban regional planning, forestry. So we are really training. FUTA is, is, is a center, is a, is a hub center for training of the leaders of tomorrow in areas of technology, science, and leadership. And let me tell you, we have some of our innovations already in the world market. If you go to Microsoft today, you will see some of our applications there 
developed by Futa students that are on Microsoft Store. Some of our students, they have been taken as research partner by Nokia to be developing apps for them. So when you look at that kind of environment, you will know that Nigeria, I can say we are lucky to have an institution like Futa. And when we went to the United States, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a People's Award, out of about 124 countries present, Futa was number five in the world, not in Africa, not in Nigeria. Futa was number one. So that is to tell you that here is a center of incubation for tomorrow's leader in terms of technology, science, and leadership. I'm Dr. Mrs. Mudupe Olaye Kajai, the Registrar of the Federal University of Technology Akure, Nigeria. You are watching Campus Snake Africa. Keep watching, you're welcome. the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Ondo State, Nigeria, West Africa. And of course, right now, I'm studying with a student union president here. Um, of course, the student rep, the number one, I meet the students here in um, Futa, as popularly called. Hi, my name is Jasby. What's your name? My name is Adele Damilari David, the student union president, Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria. Obviously, I can see that you can see with the pace of his talk and the confidence he's exuding, he's actually the student union president. It's a pleasure meeting you, my brother. How are you doing? Same here, same here, same here. So I'm doing fine. I'm first doing and fine. foremost, what has the experience been like being the student union president? Um, that's been awesome. Being the student union president, you know, everybody will be looking up to you. You'll be giving out policy, you'll be negotiating with the management based on their students' welfare. So a lot of them will be coming up and um, a lot of students will be looking up to you, the SRC, your executive, students at large, lecturers, a lot of people will be looking up to you to actually deliver. So it, it has been awesome. Number one, what, what, what level are you? I'm in, four, I'm in 400 level, 400 level civil engineering department, School of Engineering and Engineering Technology. Now. What, what, what inspired you to occupy this particular position? Um, I've been serving students right from my PDS days. As you, PDS? That's um, potential um, as a degree student before you actually get to under level. Okay. So I've been serving as a school governor of engineering, school of engineering and engineering technology. So on getting to under level also, I serve as the engineering governor. So all these things I have actually set down as a pace and a leadership training for myself to actually build myself and uh, to assist students in one way or the other. So when I get to under level, I thought of it wisely that okay now it is very very good for me to also take up the mantle of students since i have been doing it right from my pdsd so it will also be very very good for me to take it up and um i actually contested and i won with more than 500 votes wow confident he won with more than 500 votes he still can remember that he won with more than 500 votes but what drives you personally the, the, the point is student welfare the very first day I got into this school, I noticed some certain things um, with the situation that the student welfare is being handled. So these are the things that actually motivated me that if I if I take it up, I can do it better. I can actually impart into the students, I can actually fight for their interests, I can actually stand for their interests, and I can actually negotiate um, diplomatically. I see a life of service. Yeah, yes, yes, I really, I really, I really desire to serve. I really desire to serve. Maybe outside, because I'm still looking at it, if possible, after the student union, maybe I will go into the National Association of Nigeria students, and that's NAS, maybe to contest for in any offices, and uh, maybe the AGS or the NAS president. Okay, Futa, Federal University of Technology, Akure, that's what it's popularly called, right? Yes. Tell me about students, students here. On um, about students here on campus, it's you no, know, uh, it's sometimes it is triangular lifestyle, sometimes it triangular. is triangular. Triangular. Explain. Um, what I mean, what I mean is from hostel to class, from class to church, from church back to their hostel, mm. triangular lifestyle. Mm. There is no social aspect in it. And to some other students, it actually involves the social aspect, maybe going to clubs, sometimes going to shows, going to seminars, going to different 
programs like that. But for some students, it is just triangular from class to lecture theater, from to the hostel to their church. That is all. How do you marry your academics and um, and your your activities as the student union president? Um, it, 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 it has been a great challenge. It has been a great challenge managing the, the student at large with your academics. But it is it is very very necessary because that's that's your number one thing on campus. And if you cannot manage it at this level, it actually means that to be a good leader, it's it's actually the ability for you to manage series of things together you can manage your academic life with your um, political life with your um, spiritual life you can manage everything together that's what qualifies you to do together so i thank god for that i've been able to actually manage everything together and i think i'm still in a strong two one by god's grace hi my name is boniface kaude alishi the acting dean of students federal university of technology apure national professor of computer science campus nick africa is the best Keep watching Campus Nick Africa. Are you a student of this school? Yes, I am a student. What course are you reading? Meteorology. Meteorology? Yeah. What level are you? 200 level. Wait, why, what, what are you looking for? Why did you go to that kind of a course? Why did you choose that kind of a course? Uh, I just love the environment. Something natural. I just want to do something that everybody has been doing. I didn't want engineering and I didn't like medicine. So ah. I just decided something else, something fun, something very practical. So are you saying meteorology is fun? Yes, it is. It's very fun. It's very practical. Wow. So you are actually someone that actually loves adventure? Yes, exactly. That's, that's the summary. Mm -hmm. So tell me your experience here at Federal University of Technology. Well, it has been, can I say great? It has been challenging. So since we know how things are, we know how Futa is, so it's much better. It's easier for us now. What would you say makes you proud as a student of Futa? Everything. Mm. <laughs> I just love Futa. Mm. To me, as a metrologist, I'm proud to be a student of Futa because Futa is the only university that offers metrology in West Africa. So wow. I can actually boast of it that, yes, I'm proud to be Futarian. Wow. What did you say? Futarian? Futarian. Futarian. So if you're a student of Futa, you're a Futarian? Yes. Are you a student of this school? Yes, I am. What course are you reading? Industrial Chemistry 500. So what is the experience being like as a student of Futa? Okay, it's, it's fun, you know, but at the same time, it's really very hectic because the truth is, I don't think Futa is like any other school out there. Why? Tell me why. Tell me the difference. Because here, you finish with two two. And you go outside. You're better than someone that finished with the two when you first class out there. Bro. So I think mm. that is. I like that. Yeah. So what's your big dream when you're out of here? You're out of here in a few months. I'm definitely going to practice my course. And at the same time I'm going to I love I love catering things. Are you a student in school? Yes. What course are you in? Chemistry. Uh, what level? Five. Are you proud to be a student of Futa? What makes you proud? proud. Say. Oh, the, um, the courses, the lecturers, the cool, then the environment is okay and beautiful. Hey, I'm Damilari Adele David, the student senior president of Federal University of Technology, Akure, Ondo State, Nigeria, civil engineering student, School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, on campus NIC, Africa. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Alfred Martina. I'm a student of Futa. Department of Meteorology 200 level and this is Campus Sneak Africa. Keep watching the show. It's a beautiful campus, it's a clean campus. Futa is making wave all over the world now. We have been getting accolades, you know, from far and near over time. Our students are everywhere doing well. We get feedback, you know, every day on them. So we are actually turning out good product from this university. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a university to behold. I'm Professor Emmanuel Adidayo Fashakin, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic. This is Campus Snake Africa. Keep watching and enjoy yourself. Ah, my Zen Mama Fala, 
here. I'm the deputy university or librarian of this uh, great university. And um, I work here in this library. I've been in this institution for more than 20 years. I was wow. say about 1988 I joined. What's your big dream when you are done from school? Um, I wish to work in Guinness. Yeah, I'm going to work in um, a beautiful oil company that pays a lot. <laughs> well, to become um, a chemist uh, in the petroleum industry. Oh, my big dream is, you know, to be a relevant force to be a And in the next couple of years, Tim Westwood TV, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Anchoring the bigger shows in the country and out of the country. Maus Alumetaiwo, the Vice President of the Student Union Government of the Federal University of Technology, Akure. This is Campus Make Africa. Keep watching. Hi, my name is Musa Ibube, 500 level student of Industrial Chemistry in the Federal University of Technology, Akure. And this is Campus Make Africa. Please keep watching Campus Make Africa. Hi, I'm Ola Inka, a student of the Federal University of Technology, Akure, in Dostoy, Nigeria. And you're watching Campus Snake Africa. Keep watching. And also, we are doing radio. This is still the Federal University of Technology. I'm going to do this in Nigeria. Yes, you welcome right back, and that was a wonderful one from the news from the Dane's table taken by the great uh, uh, blood crew there, full tattoo day. And the conviction song has been doing great. My name remains the life. I became the brand is TFK, and it's still your favorite informative educative program. Full Tar Students Hub, where we give you all information as they go, as they hot, as they happen. You know, I remain the student information officer of the best university of technology in Nigeria. And when I say it, it is the truth. When I say it, it is just what you need to know. Full Tar Students are doing great. I am here and I have a super guest in the house today. I did bring my guest today from the campus, not from Undo State. Is coming in all the way from South Africa and his name is Abdesoji Abdebayo aka Jazzy B. He's from Love One Southern African Television, Johannesburg, South Africa, to come do a powerful documentary about the best university of technology in Nigeria. He's here today on campus. He's been going around. He's not tired. He's excited. He loves what he's seen. Make we hear from the guy, Gong Gong Jari. Abdesoji Abdebayo, you're welcome to the studio can we know you again hi hi my name is jwz yb that's what i've known on tv of course it's good to be live here on the radio i'm a student of this school okay what level are you what course are you really i am a student of um fisheries and aquaculture 200 level <laughs> so because you are popular by entertainment <laughs> I, I found I just I just found out that I'm popular. You told me I'm popular now. I would say I've been into entertainment before I even got into the university. I have I was a rapper before I turned an OAP before. What's OAP? Uh on air presenter. So now you're an on air presenter? Yep. 
um tv or radio 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 yeah yeah you should do tv too yeah i am working on that you're working on that yeah. 200 level fishery student <laughs> you're working out as an on-air personality <laughs> that's good you know ah uh, i'll say it's not been easy with the whole lectures and everything but I'm thanking God for everything anyway. You want to be easy with lectures? Didn't you come to school to study? Uh, yeah, we know, but at least there are conditions that will make it perfect for you. <laughs> okay, my name is Titula Femi Kings. I'm the student information officer of the best university of technology in Nigeria with the student affairs. What I basically do is to help uh, discover students' talent, manage it, manage their shows, manage their talent. A lot of them have issues with the academics. Some of them are doing courses they don't really prepare for. So I want to look at, okay, as long as you are coping with the academics, what is that passion, what is that talent you have? We still allow them to express all this, do it while they go peri pursue with the academics. That's what we do at the Student Information Center. And I can tell you, we produce a lot, all on this campus, even as we are thriving and winning in technology. What course are you reading? Fisheries and Aquaculture Technology. Forestry and Wood Technology. Animal Protection and Health 300 level. Civil Engineering. Ecotourism and Wildlife Management. Architecture. Wow. So what's, what's it like to be um, living on campus in a female hostel? Uh, it's actually interesting but it's frustrating. We are near to information. Compared to those that are outside campus, then we have at least minimum security in school. Ah, it's good to be in the hostel. At least we meet, we meet with people, we mix together. You know, the people from different backgrounds, we mix and it's very stressful. Sometimes <laughs> annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a very unique university because I know that it's a school that has a very good and firm laid down rule. Once you work hard, you do well. Once you just go with the flow, go with the game, go with how the stress is, you definitely do well. It has been a very interesting journey going this ladder up. Starting from my pre-degree days when I was the Miss Jibawu and that's for the other hostel. And it was very challenging, but I was able to scale through well. After then, I have had a very good standing when it comes to politics and all in the school. So when it was a full contest, I just saw myself doing it, and it has been good. So you won? Yes, I won. So what has the experience been like being the president of a female hostel? Well, it's very challenging. It's very tasking. You know, having to have lectures sometimes, and you have to settle disputes in the hostel and all that. But that aside, I think it's good to be in a position of authority. Everybody loves the taste of power. So are you ready to relieve when you are done or you want to stay on, like others want to stay on? No, 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 I'm ready to relieve. I've had my own fair share. So what's your big dream when you're done from school? My big dream? <laughs> first is to be a mother. <laughs> wow, you're in a hurry. A wife first, okay. then a mother. You're in a hurry. Then my career. That's, I know my career is something that is, is settled, it's settled mm. because I'm almost done and hopefully I should get a good job. Mm. But the fact that you have a career doesn't mean you'll be a mother mm. or a wife. Mm. So that's my big dream. What a dream. I love that. Hi, my name is Pelmi, a student of the Federal University of Technology, Accru West, 400 level architecture. And you're on to Campus Sneak Africa. Don't touch that down.
Sneak Africa. Wow, wow, wow. Well, it's been a wonderful experience here at the Federal University of Technology, Accre Undo State, Nigeria, West Africa. And of course, right now, you obviously can see that the floor is wet. It's been raining. But it didn't stop me, of course. But at this particular point in time, I'm bringing this episode to a close today. CJWZYB for your email. Send your emails to campusnickafrica at lovewasa.org. What would you want to say about this experience here at the Federal University of Technology, Accre Undo State, Nigeria, today? Number one technology university verified by the National University Commissions here in Nigeria, West Africa. Thinking about coming here, get on the internet right now, log on and search for more information. Until I see you on another wonderful and interesting episode, don't you talk that down. So for your email, send your email to campusnickafrica at lovewasat.org. Get on Facebook, get on Twitter, get on Yukos. We'll be there. Until I see you on another wonderful Peace, I am out of here. <laughs>